More than 200 million people in Indonesia will be heading to the ballot boxes next week to elect their new president. And with just a day left to campaign, candidate and defence minister Prabowo Subianto is projected to secure a majority that will grant him the top job in a single round. Now, according to a latest survey by Indicator Politik Indonesia, 51.8% of respondents said that they will vote for Mr. Prabowo. Anis Baswedan is trailing at 24.1%, while Ganja Prano was ranked third at 19.6%. Now, the margin of error of the poll is about 2.9%. 1,200 people took part in the survey that was conducted between January the 28th and February the 4th. Now, a runoff will be held in June. That's if none of the three candidates gets more than 50% of votes next Wednesday. The survey comes amid mounting public criticism against the outgoing president. Mr Joko Widodo has been accused of interference and bias over his implicit support for Mr Prabowo, who is running with his elder son, Gibran Raka Booming Raka. Nearly 90% of those surveyed said that they believed the president supports Mr Prabowo more so than his other two rivals. But Mr. Wododo's perceived meddling, well, it could lead to cracks in the government. Several members of his cabinet are reportedly mulling resignation, including Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawati. Former Indonesian President Megawati Sukarno Putri has advised ministers not to quit, warning that such actions could destabilize the country. For more, Saiful Bahri Ismail joins us live from Jakarta. Saiful, how likely is it that we're going to get an outright result next Wednesday? Well, Don, the probability of an outright win for front runners uh, Prabowo Subianto and his running mate uh, Gibran Raka Boing Raka on 14th February is certainly growing. But we also have to remember that this is just the vote projection from one polling organization, which is Indicator Politik Indonesia. It's by no means the final vote projection. There's still one more day of campaigning left, which is tomorrow. And there may be other pollsters which could release the results of their findings. There are a total of 81 polling organizations which are registered with the General Election Commission, and they have until 10th February to share their vote projections before the start of cooling off period on Sunday. Now, under the election regulations, pollsters are not allowed to release any survey results during the cooling off period from 11th to 13th February. Indicator Politik Indonesia is also not the only pollster that has given a vote projection of more than 50% to front-runner Prabowo Subianto. For example, on Wednesday, the Populi Centre projected that Prabowo would garner 52.5%. Now, although the chances of a second round vote is thinning, there is still a possibility of a runoff election. This is because if we look at the results of the recent vote projections, the prabowo Gibran pair is able to get between 50 and 52%. We also need to remember that these surveys have a margin of error of about 3%. So that means for Prabowo to be really safe, he should get around 54%. Uh, there is also the undecided voters, which accounts for about 5% at the time of these surveys are conducted. Well, Saiful, it's the final day of campaigning tomorrow. What can we expect? Well, then, uh, well, Don, we can expect a big bang from all three pairs of candidates on Saturday. It will be their last hurrah before cooling off period kicks in on Sunday. The 75 days of campaigning, which began on 28th November last year, will officially end on Saturday. And under election reg regulations, candidates will no longer be able to conduct any form of election campaign after tomorrow. So it will be the last chance for candidates to win the hearts and minds of voters. All three pairs of presidential candidates will be holding public rallies tomorrow. Presidential candidate Anis Baswedan and his running mate Mohaimin Iskandar will be at the Jakarta International Stadium in North Jakarta. Presidential candidate Prabowo Subianto and his running mate Gibran Raka Buming Raka will hold their public rally at the Glora Bung Karno Stadium in central Jakarta. Finally, presidential candidate Ganjar Prano and his running mate Mahfoud MD will hold their rally at the historical Vestenburg Fort in Solo, Central Java. Now, all three rallies are expected to be attended by tens of thousands of people. Observers expect all three candidates would try to create a bandwagon effect in which people would end up voting for whomever appeared to have the greatest public support. 
Campaign rallies perceived to be the most lively and radiating an aura of victory will increase the political momentum and candidates hope this could translate to more votes for them on, Fe on 14th February. Yeah, it's uh, firming up to be an exciting day on the 14th. Saiful, thank you for that election update. Saiful Bari Ismail there, live for us from Jakarta.